Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk to you about the differences and similarities between the Janome 6700P and the 6650P. As you can tell, both these machines look almost identical except for the color of the front, but there's quite a few differences and quite a few similarities in them. We've had a lot of customers over the years ask us what are the differences in these. I'm looking at both of them. I want to make the right decision. So here we're going to just give you a brief overview of similarities and differences. The 6700P is the top of the line in this series. Now these machines are solid flatbed, solid metal on the base, and that's a positive thing because when you start sewing as fast as these machines can sew, you want to have some weight so the machine's not hopping around on you. The tops of the machines are slick coated so your fabric's not going to hang. Now the 6700P and the 6650, similarities, they're equal in quality. There's no difference in the quality in any one of them. They both are going to give you very similar computer controls with the scissor, the needle up, needle down, auto lock, reverse, the start stop button, same tension system. They both will have the adjustable pressure. They both have needle threaders on them have the bigger throat plates. You don't have to have screws to take the needle plates out. There's a button right here where you take that out. They both will have a place for the knee lift to go. They will have the easy touch pad on the front. We can adjust our width and length on all of our sewing patterns. All of our buttons here on, are the same. So you've got all the same features on these two machines. Now they both will give you the 10 inch throat space from the needle to the inside of the sewing arm is 10 inches top drop in bobbin. They both do the nine millimeter width on the stitch. Now that is the maximum width you can get on any Janome machine. Even the top of the line uh, M7 will give you the same stitch width. Now the machines are capable of sewing through the same thickness as a material with no problem whatsoever. Very similar size motor. They are torqued a little bit different. We'll explain that in the differences on these two machines. Now I want to talk to you just quickly about why each machine is where they're at in the line. Now the 6700 being the top of the line, it came out first. It's been in the Janome line, I would say at least 10 years now. Uh, it's been a very proven seller. We really do have problems out of the machine. They're built very well. What you'll find when you go down to the 6650, and Janome is one to try to make a machine a little bit more affordable. They do not skimp on the quality. They do not cut corners when it comes to quality, but there are a few less features on this machine and accessories that comes with it that makes this machine a little bit uh, more affordable in price. So once we show you what comes with each one, this may help you dramatically make your decision on which machine is right for you. Now the 6650 is going to have about 120 stitches on it on the website. We have a full product demo of the 6650 with all the details, the stitches, pictures of all the stitches so you can see everything that comes with it. When you go to the 6700, you get 30 more stitches on the machine. So that's number one. Number two, on the 6650, they added less accessories with it. Now the 6650 does have a place for a knee lift to go. It's an optional item when it comes to that machine. A Ken Sewing Center will carry everything that's made. We sell a lot of knee lifts for this machine. When you go to the 6700, the knee lift is going to be included. So you may not know what a knee lift is, hasn't seen one before. That's what a knee lift is. It's an adjustable knee lift. So we can loosen this screw right here and I can pull this out to make it longer and it goes right here. And at that point, I'm able to raise and lower my presser foot with no problem whatsoever, use my knee to do that. Comes with the 6700. The 6650 does not have an extension table that comes with it. On the 6700, that will come standard. You'll get a table just like this right here. It has rulers on it. It's got the four legs. We can open the legs up. It has little levelers on it. I get it level, whatever I'm doing, whichever table surface I'm on. You can get this the same size opening because these are the same exact size castings on the machine. So you can get this for the 6650, but it will come with the 6700. Now the third thing that makes these two machines different is the type of walking foot system or AccuFeed system on the machine. The 6700 uses the same exact AccuFeed system as the top of the line machine, which will look like this, this is what comes with it. Now the AccuFeed system, we have a lot of information on the website about it. You can't see it in my video here, but up behind where my needle goes, 
this locks into the machine because now we're adjusting the stitch width and length within tenths of a millimeter you need a walking foot that's more precise. The AccuFeed system locks into the machine. This starts operating a lot faster and you're able to use that as an even feed or walking foot. And another thing about the AccuFeed system, there's a place you can put a quilt bar on, the, on it to do seam allowances. You can measure off from your needle to get a certain seam allowance or use it as a guide. But another thing is these come off of the foot itself and you have different soles you can get. It will come with the standard so that lets us do all the decorative and quilting stitches on the machine but here we do have other optional pieces you can get i have a quarter inch foot a stitch in the ditch foot straight stitch foot open toe foot and a zipper foot and as genomi makes and develops more of these soles to go with the accufeed system ken sewing center will carry all of those that is something you can always have on the machine if you want to achieve and have these optional pressure feet on the 6650 it uses a more traditional style walking foot that will be just like this foot right here it is a different walking foot this particular walking foot only works on just a couple of models of genome it's an optional item for the 6650 we do carry those all the time as well as all the other optional accessories it works and operates just like any walking foot you've probably ever seen for feeding those thicker materials like quilt swatches if you're working with heavier pieces of material or some materials have slicky finishes or coatings on them that makes it more difficult for the feed dogs built into the machine to feed the fabric through we hope this has been a really good tutorial these are the major differences and seeing the similarities in these two by all means feel free to drop us an email or give us a call anytime and we can tell you even more about these two great machines